Anybody notice that Starmer's Labour keep referring to the Tory Rwanda deportation plan as unworkable? I've seen Lucy Powell, the Shadow Secretary for Culture, Media and Sports, say it. I've seen Yvette Cooper, the Shadow Home Secretary, say it. Last night on Question Time, Pangam Debonair, the Shadow Leader of the Commons, also said it won't work, but went one further by saying if the government really wanted to crack down on people traffickers, they could not cut the National Crime Agency, who do, amongst other things, work to crack down on people trafficking. But the one obvious thing that any government could do that Starmer's Labour just will not come out and say is provide the same safe legal route to people wanting to claim asylum here and are prepared to risk their lives to do it as we're currently providing for Ukrainian refugees. Beyond skin cover, colour, what is the difference? If they're fleeing a war zone, they have a case for asylum, and it is their right to choose to come here and make that claim if they want to. The successive governments have chosen to try and stop them getting to our shores rather than help them is a disgrace. So why won't the human rights barrister leading Labour, little Keir Starmer, come out fully against the Rwanda plan as fascist and racist and unworkable as it is? Fangham Debonair also called it un-British. So surely there's an opportunity to add another flag to Keith's shagging collection. We know Starmer is a Blairite, and Tony Blair attempted something similar to this Rwanda deal back in 2004, with a desire to send Somali refugees to Tanzania for processing. His government were accused of offering aid to Tanzania in exchange for taking failed refugees off British hands. But unlike Rwanda, Tanzania turned the offer down. The Lib Dem leader of the day, Charles Kennedy, called it a very bad precedent for a global trade in displaced people. He called it what it was, state-sanctioned people trafficking. It's somewhat disturbing that Starmer won't take a strong position on this. Now that might be because he doesn't take a strong position on anything, which is true, but given he surrounded himself with so many relics of the Blair era, his dishonesty, lack of integrity, it feels like unless he does come out ardently against it, it's just as believable that he supports these deportations and Labour under him would do it as well.